and welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part and welcome to my 2020 clean and decorate with me for Valentine's Day. I'm so excited for this video. I'm so ready to get all my decor up. So if you're new here, definitely subscribe by hitting that red button down below and let's get straight into today's video. But sorry, there's a light inside of us. Okay, so I don't love a lot of clutter or stuff. So holidays are kind of hard for me. I always love like all the holiday decor at first, but it doesn't last long. So I've learned if I like deep clean the space first where it's just like nice and crisp and new, my decor stays up longer. So I'm gonna start off in my dining room. I'm gonna get this space all nice and clean before I do the decorating. I don't even know if I'm coming down. Now I'm going to work on vacuuming my upholster chairs. I really don't think I've done this in a really long time. I will say my upholstered chairs stay so much cleaner than I would expect them to because they're like a light gray, but there were some crumbs on them. So I thought I would go ahead and give them a vacuum. Um, if you're new here, the sound of the vacuum makes my dogs go crazy. So you're going to be watching them a lot throughout this video. So anytime I'm doing a deeper clean, I like to go ahead and just pull those chairs out. My vacuum can go like under the legs and in between, but I just feel like it misses parts. So every once in a while, I like to just pull all the chairs off of it and give that rug just a good vacuum since we do eat over there. Okay, so George is a puppy, if you can tell. If you've been around for a while, you'll know he was not this big when we got him. Um, he has just grown so much lately. I keep calling him like Clifford the Big Red Dog because I don't know if he's going to stop. All that I need, try to sugarcoat, but I'm flying so high. I don't even know if I'm coming down. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put all the chairs back and you can see George is being a very good assistant and helping me. And then once I get those back, I'm going to start decorating the dining room. The smoke and the mirrors are memories, now the sun's gone down. Like a river rushing way up above. This ain't, yeah this ain't no sugar coated. Okay, nothing ever lasts in my house. I always just redecorate. I love change, but for some reason, I've never gotten rid of these shutters. And I know they're more farmhousey, but every time I go to get rid of them, it just makes me sad because it's so great for holidays. For like Christmas, I put my Christmas cards up there. And then every holiday, I can get a cute little banner and put it up there. So I just love decorating them. I'm sure I'll get rid of it one day, but until then, I'm just really enjoying them. Plus, it's just a big space to fill. Um, but this um, banner I picked up from Ross and I want to say it was like $7.99, but I felt like that was a pretty good deal. Okay, and then I did pick up this little heart pillow from Home Goods. It was $12.99. I think it turned out really cute. Um, if you guys are new here, you're going to see I don't put a ton out. I definitely am a believer that less is more. That's how I decorate my house. But I love to add just a few fun touches just because I have a 10 year old daughter and she does love decorating for the holidays. So I feel like this is the perfect balance for us. And now I'm going to start in my kitchen. So I'm just going to start off by putting everything in its home before I start cleaning. So now I'm going to go ahead and work on all my stainless steel. So I'm going to start with my refrigerator and then make my way around. Um, I'm really good about keeping up with my kitchen and keeping it clean. I wipe down my countertops like multiple times a day, but I'm bad about wiping down my stainless. I guess I just got out of the routine and I happened to notice it the last couple days and was like, oh my goodness, I've got to get that clean. So I'm going to focus on just wiping all those appliances down so they're nice and shiny again and just don't have fingerprints all over them. I'm gonna hold you tight, hold you tight Cause you're the only thing that I can't lose I never needed you 
I know a lot of you will want to know what I'm using to clean my stainless steel. I feel like any granite counter cleaner or any like window cleaner works so well on stainless. They do make very specific like stainless steel cleaners and those work great too. But if you have just like a bottle of Windex or some type of like granite top cleaner, I swear it'll work great. All those fingerprints will be gone. So I use anything along those lines. The next area that I've been needing to work on are my blinds. Um, this is another area that I just realized were so dusty along with my um, pendant length there underneath my sink. I guess just because it's so hard to get to. I have really like deep countertops so it's not easy for me to clean it that I guess I just forget and hadn't noticed it. So wiping them down I was so surprised how much dust were on both of those things so it feels so good to have that done. Next, I'm gonna work on my kitchen island. I'm just gonna grab a wood cleaner and a cloth and go ahead and wipe these down. I feel like we're always standing at this and kids are always on it and I forget to clean it because it does not show dirt that much. So that's super nice and super kid friendly, but I know it gets dirty. So I just have to assume it's dirty and go ahead and wipe it down occasionally. I should ever let you go. Mm -hmm. Don't wanna wake up. If I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough and then next I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down all my countertops lately I've just been spraying them all down and then putting the bottle away sometimes I just spray as I go but I kind of like it just sitting and soaking on my countertops until I can get to it and wipe it off I don't know if that actually helps but in my head I it seems to make a difference it makes me feel better so that's the way I've been doing it Now I'm going to go ahead and vacuum my floors because A, they're always dirty and B, since I've been dusting and cleaning off my countertops, there's just going to be a lot of dust on them and my floors just show it really bad. I always love to show this angle just so you guys can see my vacuum work. I'm sure you're aware it works, but it's just really fun to see. So I'm going to go ahead and just get all that crumbs and dust picked up off my floor. I'm looking in your eyes, wish you could see the things I see. I don't vacuum these chairs often or these bar stools, but I really should. It makes them look brand new. I actually reupholstered these myself and I thought they would just shed like crazy, but they don't at all. So I'm really happy with the way those have turned out. I went ahead and grabbed just a new pink soap just to kind of add a pop of color. I feel like that's a cheap and easy way anybody can do in their household. So if you're on a tight budget, just go get like a dollar soap. And then I also picked up these hand towels from Ross. I don't think I'm going to actually use them because I don't want to stick them in my washer, but I just thought they would be cute sitting out for the holiday. I also picked up this cute Valentine's Day drying mat. I thought it would be cute when I like hand wash dishes because I do that a lot and let them air dry. I also picked up some fake flowers. I could have done real roses, but those were $12.99 and I thought they'll last all the way through Valentine's Day and I won't have to replace them or water them. So I went ahead and did that. Now we're going to head into my living room and we're going to be talking about a little project I've been working on. I want to thank Fracture for sponsoring this part of today's video. They're a company based out of Florida. They're also carbon neutral and are always on the lookout for ways to protect their planet. From glass production to packing, they are committed to a small footprint. They offer a variety of sizes for your prints from small to extra large. So what makes their print so special is they're printed on glass. I wanted to show you a few that I got for my neighbors. These are so neat for wedding photos or honeymoons. Um, we did a lot of our family pictures on them for our living room and they are absolutely gorgeous. And right now they're offering you guys a Valentine's Day special. So you're gonna get 25% off all of your glass prints 
You just have to use the code Ashley25 at checkout. I am just so impressed with the quality and how they turned out. They were packaged so well during shipping. I had a lot ordered and so I had like three boxes come in and all of them were in perfect condition. I also wanted to mention that a lot of the prints that I used were just for my iPhone. They weren't even like professional pictures and they look amazing. They're almost clearer than like my photography pictures from um, a photographer. So we all have those special pictures that are on our phone of our, you know, family or husband or just special moments in our life. And I just think this is such a great way to honor that. You can pass this down from generation to generation and they are just absolutely gorgeous hanging on a wall. Um, I also wanted to mention they are so easy to hang. I know you guys are wondering since there's no frame, how do you hang them? It actually comes with a screw and it also already has a hook on the back. So it's super easy to do. It took Chase no time. It definitely takes us longer to do other projects. So it was so easy, anybody can do it. So definitely check them out. If you're in the market for a gift like this, you will not regret it. And don't forget, you can use Ashley 25 for 25% off your order now through February 14th. So thanks again to Fracture for sponsoring this part of today's video. So now I'm gonna work on cleaning off the stressor in our living room. Like I mentioned before, I just like to wipe everything down before I add more so then the next time I'm cleaning, I'm not having to move all of those decor pieces. It just seems easier on the right time to do it. And then when you put your decor out, it just seems so fresh and clean and new. It's always just a fun feeling to like get the house clean, get it decorated, and then just sit down and enjoy it. So you're gonna see me start adding a few pieces to my living room. I had found this gold heart at Ross. It was like $6.99, so I thought it matched my living room so well and then I also picked up this love pillow from home goods and I want to say it was around like $17.99 this is a cheap way to do it pillows can get really expensive and you don't need them out for long so to buy like a matching set is a pricey but if you'll just buy one that can go in the center of them and then maybe a throw this isn't technically Valentine's Day but it looks great it has the colors and it still ties into my house As you can see, I don't go super crazy where like Valentine's Day threw up all over my house. I like to keep it simple. I like to keep most of it neutral with a little pop of color throughout for my daughter. But you can definitely decorate for the holidays and not go super crazy. You can find the balance. It's just look for a lot of neutrals. Look for things that tie into your home that look Valentine's Day -y, but technically aren't. Just like the gold heart. Um, and then my throw and hand soaps and hand towels kind of add the pop of color. So you can definitely mix those in without going crazy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clean my floors. Um, in a past cleaning video, I was telling you guys I always clean with water, but they were kind of starting to dry out. And so I asked for suggestions for some cleaning products. So I've been trying out some wood um, floor cleaners. This one worked so well. I was just needing a really good conditioner and I feel like this did it. My floors feel brand new again. So thank you guys so much for all those suggestions. So as you can see, I'm just taking the bottle and I'm making an S shape and squirting it out. And then I'm just using a wet mop head and mopping my floors like I normally do. I did feel like this took like double or triple the time versus when I'm just using the wet mop head because I'm having to like stop, grab the bottle, squeeze it. But it is something that needs to get done about once a month just to keep my floors healthy and fresh. Now it's time to head into my guest bathroom slash Savannah's bathroom. It's more her bathroom because we rarely have guests come and use this bathroom, but I definitely need to wipe it down. There's something about kids and toothpaste. It's just always everywhere. So I'm just using my Lysol wipes from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna wipe it down, get a few things clean, and then I'll start decorating this bathroom. Mm. 
Okay, the first thing I'm gonna work on is her hand soap. I was gonna buy her a pink soap, but I remembered she had bought this pink one already and we had not put soap in it. So I went ahead and just got like a free and clear soap. My daughter is very sensitive to stuff on her skin, especially her hands. So we have to be very careful with like hand soaps, especially if we're out like in public and she's washing her hands in public bathrooms. She can't do antibacterial. So I found her this new one from Target. So I'm gonna try it out and let you guys know. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill up her container and then put the lid on and she already added pink to this bathroom so it'll stay after Valentine's Day but I just feel like it's the perfect touch right now and then I had used one of the rolls um, off the back of the toilet so I'm gonna go ahead and freshen this up if you guys haven't seen my need to know cleaning tips definitely watch that video after this one I show lots of fun cleaning tips that you probably don't know about and this toilet paper stamping is one of them I just really like adding a few holiday touches to our guest bathroom so if somebody comes over they just feel welcome so I always do like a hand towel soap and then I decided to add this farmhouse sign from Ross and then you're gonna see a clip here in a second if you see the glass photo of Savannah standing on the beach that was another fracture photo it is one of my favorites and she loves having it in her space so thanks again to fracture for sponsoring today's video I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you guys in the next one bye Bye.